Welcome to another session of the IBA test preparation quantitative part with your instructor with your very own Sandur Ali. And now these are some of the typical questions that might appear in the examination so that I am trying my best so that you guys are familiar with each type of questions. Remember guys we have discussed percentages a lot and still I am focusing on it so it means that it is one of the most intriguing topics in the examinations and you should work towards it towards mastering this topic because when you master the topics that are in between you guys have a very good chance a very good chance of making it through in the exam without any type of division without any type of stress etc so you have seen my lectures all are focused towards the core concepts mainly and then the geometry and other parts each and everything okay so again with the percentage thing Okay, so the number that is 50% greater than 60 is what percentage less than the number that is 20% less than 150. I am giving you a few moments to absorb this all information, to have a look and to have a go at it and then I will be solving it for you. Okay, so the, the number that is 50% greater than 60, how can you write it, right? I have also marked it down, right? The value that how you would approach it, right? 50% greater, we have discussed it in the topic of percentage that how you would be calculating the value of greater, you would be adding this 50% to 100%, right? I don't think so that I have to tell you again and again that it becomes 150%, okay? 150% can be written as 150 over 100, that is equal to 1.5, that is of 60 is what percentage now x percentage right less than the number that is is what percentage less than the number right we have to find the percentage less than the number that is 20 percent less than 150 right so 150 first 20 percent less so what would be the value of a number that is 20 percent less it would be 0 0.8 over 100 0 0 cancel 2 2 and 3, 5 times 2, 2, 4, so it becomes, the value becomes 120, right? So 80% of 150 is 120. Now the question says, is what percentage, right? So what's the difference between the two? They are asking for the percentage change, right? So what's the difference between the two? One is 120, the other is 30. The question asks specifically mentioned what percentage less than the number that is this less than 150, right? So it means that your base, the initial value or your base becomes this particular number that is 120, right? So the difference between the two, when I multiplied 1.5 equals 260, I got multiplied by 60, I would have gotten, yes. I would have gotten what? I would have gotten uh, 
I would have got a value that is equal to 90. Okay. We know that what's the percentage change? It is 120 minus 90. Since now 120 is the base, then this is multiplied with 100. It becomes a bit more unclear. So I am just putting it here. Okay, so the final value, the final value of this would be thirty over one twenty into hundred, and you know one over four, it simply becomes one over four, and one over four of hundred is basically. 25% I hope that I have made it clear in this thing now the next question is one that I am really worried about for all the students because it's pretty basic one can say that but even after that I know most of the students will be unable to solve it I don't know why it's is it the pressure of the exams is it something else that you guys fail to come up with the appropriate answer so it says a cockroach population wow doubles every three days oh my god if it happens in the in our homes then what will happen if there were sea cockroaches on June 1st. What was the percentage increase in the population on June 1st? Now over here, in this question it is given that June has 30 days, right? But in the IVA test, even this information is not given. So I am just crossing it out so that now you know that June has 30 days, right? And July has 31st, so you, you should just focus on the number of days part as well. Right, number of days as well. Okay, so I am going to solve it on the next page because it's a good question and it's a very detailed one as well, right? So the population doubles every week. Right? So if, 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 if it was C initially, then it will be 2C after 3 days, right? Now the question asks. that what was the percentage increase in the population till July and the options are given and you can see okay very difficult option and then you would stop immediately okay this can't be done without a cap without a calculator definitely and then you would regret it when you will come to the answer because trust me you guys will be laughing at it okay this was the easiest one perhaps 30 days 3 days it is doubling so it is a factor of 10 since it is doubling, so it means that if it was 2C after 3 days, then after 6 days it would be 4C. After 9, it would be 2 times 4, it is 8. So it means that each time a power of 2 is increasing, right? So similarly, 2 power 10 would be required, right? 2 power 10 can simply be written as 1024. C and most of the students have gotten the, have got this answer. They would have written it directly. Okay, option E is correct, and they would have marked it, and it would have been totally wrong and absurd because they just forget one thing that they are asking for what they are asking for the percentage increase. And this is really really important that you are looking for the percentage increase, not just the final value. So what would be the percentage increase? Well, final value, if I have to tell you again, you must have remembered it by now. Final minus initial over initial into 100. This is final. The initial was C over initial that was so C multiplied by 100. So what would be the final value coming? It would be 1023 because C over C into 100. C and C is cancelled. So it would have been 1023 100% and 
and a simpler question a very simple question trust me and you would have gotten this wrong the correct answer for this is option d and i'm marking it over here now the next question that was discounted by 515% was sold for 612 dollars now what is this price 612 represents what is it the discounted value or it is before the discount or after the discount right it is after discount right after discount continuing from they were you we solving the question a computer that was discounted by 15% so 612 is what it is the after discount price right what was the price of the computer before the discount right you cannot use the approach this approach please the candidates try to find 15% or 612 when they end up having the wrong answer because this is not the approach you will always start from the initial point right the key to all the profit and loss questions is to you is that you should start from the initial point so the initial point was that it was 100% Mm, oh here we will solve it okay so it was 100% before right then after the 15% discount 15% discount it becomes 85% so the 612 value basically is representing this value of the original cost price that was this right cp minus discount is equals to final selling price because it's a discount the value is lower right so one thing you should note that the value should always be lower okay so this 59 it is so the value should always be lower right so now how many of them sorry the value should be larger the initial value will be larger the final value will be lower right so any options less than this are cancelled these are the we have eliminated these two options simply because the value would be larger than 602 and these three options remain right again do not forget this process of elimination do not forget the technique some students are very good in the method they know okay how to solve the question how to approach it but they are unaware of the method uh, so they are unaware of the shortcuts and the techniques and they in the end of the exams they fall down so this of x is equal to 612 or it will be easier if i write it down like this x is equal to 612 multiply by 100 divide by 85 5 times 17 5 times 20 right now if you look at the table of 17 17 times 2 right so if i divide this 20 by 17 over here and i keep 612 as it is right So 20 over 17. What would the value I would be getting? I would be getting like this, and 3 over 17 is like 3 over 18, and it is equal to 1.6. So it's like 1.166, right? So similarly, I can simply. So it becomes one whole one over six. So overall, it becomes seven over six, right? This expression. If I can substitute, so. Are you guys are getting this or not? Look, what I did simply, I just divided 20 by 17. I was getting one whole three over 17, right? Instead of 17, I take a whole number. I take 18 because it was nearer. So it becomes one over six. So it becomes one over one over six. So it will become seven over six as a proper improper sorry improper fraction, right? So substituting. This value, what it has, what it has become now, it has become seven over six, six times one zero two, and one zero two times seven, seven two is a fourteen. One carry seven zero zero seven one zero. So, so one would appear over here, and it becomes seven over here, right? Since I estimated 
the value a bit further because I made the denominator greater. So it means that my overall value since it is being also multiplied so it would be somewhere around 714. So which of my answers is nearer to that? I will mark that and I will get the answers. I am giving you few times so that you can mark the appropriate answer if you are getting. Let's just try to make a guess which one is nearer to. Yes, so the answer that is nearer to it, of course, I have estimated the value, a smaller value, so the value that should I be getting is 720 is the correct answer. Right, so 720 is the correct answer not anyone else right so estimation is important fellas that's why the focus was on the initial skills i am emphasizing on it again and again so that you guys must know this was the solution that we did right i hope that i have made it clear in this lecture this is the end of this session as usual your very own instructor will be back with more questions till then allah office and organize my study space speaker.com